The gates have swung open at Klockner, ushering in another season of soccer. Entering 2017, Virginia women's soccer finds itself attempting to sustain historic program success. The Cavaliers are a national brand attracting recruits from across the country. Two-time Gatorade California Player of the Year, Taylor Zemer is one such Wahoo. Brought up in a soccer-centric family, the sophomore hopes to take the baton of Cavaliers past. My dad is a college soccer coach, my mom is a club soccer coach, all my uncles coach. I always joke that I've played soccer since I could walk. Growing up, it was me, my older brother, and my younger sister, and we were only allowed to watch soccer on TV. We played outside, we had a deck, and we would just have tournaments. And when I think of my childhood, one of the main things that I think of is soccer and the camps that I went to with all my cousins, and um, it just played a big role in like shaping me as a person and as a kid. Part of the influence the game had on Taylor's life was installing an unshakable confidence in the young phenom a confidence that emboldened her to step outside of her comfort zone and her home state of California. When it came time to make a college decision, Steve Swanson in the Cavaliers reaped the reward. It was definitely like a leap of faith kind of to come all the way across and I just kind of took a chance and I mean I knew I could do it, I knew I could play. I actually decided I wanted to come here really early. I had visited so many other schools and I came here and we walked around the campus and I whispered to my mom, I went, Mom, I want to go here. I knew immediately that I wanted to come and my mom said, you got to go home, you got to talk to dad. So I went home and I like gave it a week because I didn't want to seem too eager and then I called Steve and I you know, told him I wanted to commit and it was awesome. But yeah, I knew that this was a place for me pretty, pretty soon after I came. The Cavaliers have largely been defined by precocious young stars in recent history. Players such as Morgan Bryan, Daniel Colaprico, and Mackenzie Doniak contributed from the moment they stepped onto the Klockner pitch, a detail that didn't go unnoticed by the soccer star from Santa Rosa. Those are the people that I looked up to and, and watching them come in and make an impact at a, at a young age and I, I thought, oh, can I do that? And that's what, that's what I wanted to do is kind of come in and like be the McKenzie, you know what I mean? And so um, they were really good role models and they showed me, you know, what to strive for and they made me see that like I had a chance to do that. That possibility has become reality in Charlottesville as the new number nine tallied eight goals in her freshman campaign and is already a lethal attacking piece for the third ranked Cavaliers. Despite her own prolific statistics, the collective all in nature of the team is its biggest strength as evidenced in a victory at number one West Virginia. It was awesome. That game was crazy. I think that that was, I mean I know that that was definitely the most exciting game of my college career and we fought so hard in that game. We were not losing that game. That's kind of the mentality that we had and knowing that we were able to stop them and shut them down is really like gives us confidence in our formation and in our ability to beat anyone. In the past there have been like two stars or like one star on the team and I think on the team this year there are so many good players and we're really like we're not super reliant on just one person. Last year Shaft scored 13 goals or something like that so we were really reliant on her. Everybody is held accountable, everybody has, plays like a really big role on the team and so it's just like a really good environment for us to flourish. We're all really good friends, it's like a really really good dynamic and so it's a great, great team to be a part of.